Where can you buy a home on an acre or maybe a little bit more in the DFW area? Well, good news is there's a bunch of places and we'll get into that in just a minute, but it's a very, very popular request, especially in the Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas area. Fort Worth is known the nation over as Cowtown. Dallas is known for our Cowboys. And many of you, depending on your age, used to watch the show Dallas. This is what people expect when you're not from the Dallas, Fort Worth area. I mean, we get the joke, is everybody riding horses to work and school all the time? The answer is no, but you can find it and you don't have to go that far. So the short answer to where can you buy homes on an acre or more in the Dallas-Fort Worth area is primarily on the outer perimeter. And it's true for almost the entire outer perimeter. So not a lot of that happening in between Dallas and Fort Worth. So if you can see much of the map behind me, you got a general idea of the area. You have Fort Worth over on the west, Dallas over on the east, two very large cities. In between, you have mostly uh, fully developed, fully built out residential and commercial development, but not a lot of available land anymore. But if you can kind of picture Fort Worth and Dallas, almost the entire perimeter, 360 degrees, still has opportunities to buy a home on an acre or two or three you know, you got to get further out than that to get into 20, 30, 40, 50, hundreds of acres. But within 35 to 45 minutes in a few areas and within an hour in almost every direction, there are still opportunities to buy a single family home on one acre or more. Our team here in DFW specializes in homes on one to 10 acres. We would call that a really big lot. It's not yet a working farm or ranch. You might have some animals. You might have room to play for a pond or a basketball court, a garden, an orchard, that kind of thing. But it's not yet a large for-profit working land property. But it's a big yard. It's room for privacy, room to play, room to grow, room to raise animals room to uh, have recreation and and almost all the outdoor ideas you could want. A shop, a shed, storage, all those things. Some of the hotter areas for that, on the east side, we have a lot of growth due east where cities like Saxe, Murphy, Wiley used to be the edge and are nearing kind of that built out status, but all still have a few handfuls of remaining acreage properties. But you go east of that out to Nevada, you kind of go northeast to Farmersville and around to Princeton until you get back into the McKinney area where that starts to wind down again. You can go farther north up into Sherman. We're seeing some of that still hang on north of Frisco, but again, you get a little bit further up and you get a lot more of it. Up around uh, Louisville Lake and up into Denton, You're getting some pockets where that remains, but it's starting to dwindle a little bit as development grows. Now you can go way uh, further northwest to like Lake Worth and things north of Fort Worth where it gets common again. And then you see some really big growth areas like Alito all the way out to Weatherford west of Fort Worth. As we make our way around southwest of Fort Worth, there's a lot of this going on. Benbrook and beyond, uh, Grand Prairie, Grand Berry. Grand Prairie is a little bit more southeast of that, but those uh, southwest and southern edges of DFW, there's a lot of opportunity for homes on land. Southeast, the same thing. Once you get past Mesquite and out into a little bit more of what some would be called the beginning of the country, we have opportunity for more land than in almost any other quadrant of DFW. And then we're back around to that due east side, fate and beyond uh, the lakes, and then back up to that kind of Nevada area east of Wiley. There's a lot of opportunity in 360 degrees. Now, is the price the same? Absolutely not. You're going to see more favorable cost effective ways to do that to the south and then certainly way way far west way way far east and some of that far north but the north is where the cost has outrun a lot of people so it's still an option and by all means you can find some inner areas where you might still find an uh, an acre but you may be the only one you may be one of the last two or three standing and that property is looking at hundreds of thousands of dollars per acre versus maybe twenty or thirty thousand dollars per acre out on one of those edges. This video is intended to just be a beginner surface level opportunity for you to get a feel that this is possible in all parts of Dallas, Fort Worth, Arlington, Frisco, McKinney, and surrounding areas. There are some areas where there's more land available. There's certainly some areas where it's more cost effective based on your needs that is an option. Now, if you have specific needs or you want a little bit more detailed information or you're ready to buy, let us know in the comments. Find my information and our information below. This is what we do here in the DFW area. I happen to live on acreage property. We'd love to help you do the same. Let us know below. Give us a call. Shoot us an email. We're here to help. Have a great day. I'll talk to you on the next one.